This is the Okanagan Sun Coaches Show. The Sun are 2 0 after a 45 30 victory last weekend in the rain in Cantaloupe. The Sun have won 20 straight regular season games, but this coming weekend will be one of the toughest tests this team has faced. The West Shore Rebels come into town, who are also 2 0 and putting up some record numbers. For the Sun, it's the home opener. For the Rebels, it's their first road game. Head coach Ben McCauley, who is in his home debut as a head coach, liked what he saw from his club last weekend in Kamloops and that 15-point victory. Well, I thought we were you know, physically dominant, um, both offensively and defensively. Uh, we played with a bit of a chip on our shoulder, and um, you know, at times we were a little bit over aggressive and were penalized. But um, you know, we moved the ball well on the ground, which is uh, you know key for ball control and clock control. Um, we finished drives off in the end zone. Um, you know, special teams, we played a little bit better. We, we uh, need to improve there still. But overall, I thought it was pretty good considering the, uh, you know, the rain conditions and, um, and being on the road for a second week in a row, I thought it was pretty good. Because of the rain, was the idea to run the ball that much? Or- yeah, I'm sure it affected it as we went in the game with the, you know, the torrential downpour coming in at times. But um, you know, we, we typically uh, like to see ourselves as a run-first uh, football team anyway. So um, you know, I don't think uh, had the conditions been any different, you wouldn't have seen a vastly different offense. But, uh, you know, in the future, if we've got the uh, different conditions, we may see us open it a bit up uh, in the second and third quarters anyway. We saw Keith Zyla first half, Foster Martin second half. Is that the idea coming into this weekend? Uh, we'll probably determine that um, by Thursday's practice. Um, you know, we we liked what we saw from both of the guys. And, uh, you know, it's just really clear that both of them excel in different areas. So, you know, it's going to be um, part of the game plan to uh, to use their strengths. So uh, you may see both of them, not necessarily by half, but um, maybe by committee. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll play it by ear as the week of practice goes on. And, and by Saturday, um, you know, I think we'll have a, a good idea of what, what our uh, game plan is and then go and execute it. This is a new-look West Shore team from years in the past. Oh, you've seen, obviously, their film. Their offense seems to be clicking on all cylinders. What have you seen from them? Yeah, they have some uh, some excellent individual players there. Um, you know, they went out and pretty much took a whole CIS roster and stuck them on their offense. Uh, you know, so you know they're they're definitely bigger up front, and uh, of course they got a pretty good running back and, and some athletes at quarterback as well. So, you know, we've got our hands full, but um, you know we we think uh, their strength is playing into our strength as well, which is our defensive line and our our defense in, as in general. Uh, so. Uh, you know, I think uh, we'll match up there, but it's going to be a matter of us doing, uh, you know, being good tacklers and, and taking care of the football. Your defensive line gets a boost. Jonas Gearing back in the lineup. Will he fit in right away? Yep, he'll be starting Saturday night. Um, he's practiced this week already and, and feels good. Um, you know, he's uh, almost back up to game shape. So, you know, we expect to keep his leg, legs fresh throughout the game and to make sure that we get the most out of him, especially uh, in the late going. But, um, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to have him back in, in the lineup. The Rebels' defense has also played well. Have you seen some holes, and you don't have to tell us where, but have you seen some holes in the film where your offense can exploit? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, really we've, we've seen them against some different offenses than us, and you know, we're pretty confident that our offensive line can play with anybody. So, you know, we still expect to go and, and run the football. Um, they're going to send a lot of pressure, so it's going to be on us to get the ball out quickly. Um, there's certainly some areas that uh, both Kamloops and VI took advantage of, uh, of West Shore, and... Um, or sorry, Langley and VI, um, but you know we'll uh, we'll still stick to our game plan and show a few different things that we didn't show the first two weeks too. So um, you know we'll we're we're not about to let them come in and dictate how our offense is going to run. That is the head coach Ben McCauley. It's the Sun and the Rebels this Saturday night at the Apple Bowl. Tickets are still available. If you can't make it to the game, I'll have the play-by-play starting at seven o'clock. The Okanagan Sun now playing.